did all five kids from home. Yep. Four of them water birth. Yep. Um, and and so they were quite talk me because th- you just love birthing. But didn't it, did you not feel like you were going to rip in half? Like when you say you love it, I loved the experience. But oh my god, <laughs> I've never. Oh, I it's mean, it's so, so hardcore. intense. Hardcore. It is hardcore. It is really hardcore. I think. Um, yeah, I mean, honest. I can honestly, honestly, hand on heart, swear on all my five children's lives, say that my fifth birth had no pain. Like there was no pain. What do I you know. mean? They're just, I'm, I'm not making that as like no pain. Did you just cough and it was like, <coughs> ow. No, no, we'll start with, she, she was our smallest bub. So I have big babies. Yeah, like they're my, massive. Yeah, like my fourth was 4.9 kilos, like a big boy. And he struggled to get out. That was a really challenging birth. So I was kind of expecting for the fifth, I had gotten to the headspace of I'm going to have a five kilo baby and you're going to have to really bring it in and you're going to have to work really hard to get this thing out. Wow. And then she was like, by my terms, really little. She was 3.55 kilos. And I mean, I had my mum in the room. I had all my four other children yes. were there. My hubby was there. We had a photographer. I mean, at one point it kind of felt like I was a one woman show. Because yeah, they were yeah. all looking at me like, this is kind of, I just had to ignore that and, and go within. And like even my mum said, she said, I reckon you had 10 contractions in that wow. whole labour. And I mean, I'm a very, I'm quite a, um, I mean, I get into it. And I go very primal when I birth, but mm. I, I don't um, make a lot of noise. Um, you know, it's a very I just kind of go into a dark room to bring the contractions on, then I come out and have a few more, and I just love it. Um, yes, yeah, so when I got in the no pool, pain. no pain. I swear to you. Are you worried that it's like massive down there? That's like <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's not that at all. It's just maybe I mean, the baby I think the water. Before, did you have water births or no? No, I didn't. Yeah. I did hypnobirth, which I loved, yeah, but it was still. I was like. I'm going to split in half here. Yeah, I mean, of course, I have moments like that. I think I had moments like that. I felt that with my fourth bub, the really big one. It's yeah. like I'm, things are breaking and I'm not going to survive this. And then somehow you do. And, I and what know. was it like in the water? Beautiful. I mean, it's just the second you step in there and it just relaxes you. And birth is all about that. The yeah. more relaxed you can be, the more oxytocin you can bring in. You know, if when you do that, that's adrenaline and everything seizes up. And of course, yeah. it's going to hurt to get something out. Um, so it was beautiful, but yeah, it was literally kind of two contractions and I remember just uh, kind of doing that. I remember thinking, it's probably too much information, but I remember thinking, because I understand I've researched a lot about birth now, like I yeah. really got into it and I remember my midwife saying to me, okay, what's going to happen? The experience is going to be, they're going to, it's going to come through and then you're going to feel, it's going to feel really tight, then you, the baby's going to go back and you're going to do that quite a few times. And that was my experience of the first birth. Right. But with Piper, who's now one and, um, and I birthed her, I felt that and I was like, give it time, give it time, give it time. And then she just kind of came out and I was wow. like, wow, okay, cool. And I just remember going, that was so great. What just happened? That was so easy. And she was just a really small bub and it was beautiful. It was honestly the, the best, best day ever. I loved and it. And because you've got um, five under nine and like you said, your kids were in and out of, of Piper's birth. Yeah. And your oldest daughter at nine years old is like talking you through the contractions. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah it's she's, unbelievable. She was awesome. So she was like patting my shoulder and saying, good contraction, mummy. You did really good in that one. You did really well. And like they're stroking my hair. And uh, I think, I think that's been a real gift to them as well to kind of see that it is possible. You know, of yeah. course, you don't know. You never know what sort of birth you're going to get. You never know what's going to come up. But um, yeah, I feel like that's a big gift to them to be able to, to see that, yeah. um, you know, it can be enjoyed. <laughs>